Hi everybody, welcome to the Mitcham Library Service. Collect a craft each week. We are going to offer you a craft to collect at either library. Now this one is a butterfly kite and it's going to be available on Monday the 4th of May all the way through to Sunday the 10th of May. I hope you're having fun with the crafts. So I have made my kite already. Coloured it in, cut it out, add bits and pieces. So I'll show you a few things along the way. But I make mine so I can put it on the poster for you. I won't colour it in so you get busy colouring in. I've used yellow and green and blue and orange. Once you've coloured in your kite, then we need to cut around the outside. Follow the straight lines. Around the outside of your kite. How's your cutting going? Some very good practice. Especially when it's straight lines too. I do have one extra tricky bit to cut out and if you need to ask a grown-up to do that part then that's absolutely fine. But can you see the diamond in the middle here? We cut that bit out because it helps the kite to fly. It's the easiest flying kite. Now to do this if you fold it and just snip in here, you could just leave it like that if you like, or if you're pretty good with the scissors and you'd like to, you could actually cut it closer to the black line, like so. So that's the very, very important part. This kite, when we piece it together, just flies a little bit above your head. It's not a high flying kite. All right, we've got two holes on the outside. I've got a hole punch at home. You need to punch some holes through there. Otherwise, you can use a pen or pencil to poke a hole in there. Now we've got a little bit of decoration. We've got some googly eyes here on the kite. So we just pop a bit of a clump of glue behind the eye, or if you don't have glue like this, then sticky tape them on because all that flying around, they might ping off. So make sure they're nice and secure. So I dig a bit of a lump of glue like that to put my butterfly face. You will receive a pipe cleaner, half a pipe cleaner goes on each antler. So bend it over, cut that one in half, and see if you can follow the shape of the antler on your kite. I'm just putting a little bit of glue along here, and we bend that shape around and glue it like so. A bit more glue on the other side. And you could put a little bit of sticky tape to allow it to dry first of all. I think I'm going to use a little bit of tape to put on mine here. All right. Then you've got some patty pans. Now you could put a bit of glue on the bottom of those. It's now a 3D kite. Oh! <laughs> Pretty special to me. Glue on the bottom of each one. I put it where the circles are on the butterfly. You don't have to. All right. Now there's another special part. Your crafts are coming in brown paper bags. We are recycling these so the streamers that go on the bottom of your kite are from the paper bag. So we just need to cut 
straight along the bag and make some streamers. And then we need to you can use the whole bag to make your streamers. And then cut through here and your loop becomes a streamer. It's like magic, isn't it? Wow! We are using everything we can. And then I just use some sticky tape because I think I can be a bit rough flying my kite. So my streamers might break off. So the sticky tape holds it very tightly. Here. The last and final bit is the wall. Where we're going to put the wall. We need two pieces of wall. Yours will already be cut in your bag, so we need one piece. Maybe a bit longer than that one. One longer piece that ties through where we put our hole punch in, or where we put a hole in with a pencil or pen. We've got to do one tie there, and one on the other side. Okay. Can you tie a knot? This is very good practice. Right. You can get an adult to help you. And then we need one more piece. Find the centre, which is roughly there, and your other piece of wool ties a knot in the centre. Right. And that is all you need to do. You could tie a little handle on if you want. We don't want it too long. Like I said, it just flies above your head. And then we have the easiest flying kite. That is my coloured one. I hope you have fun colouring in your kite, making your kite, and flying your kite. I might have to run out into the park and have a play. So don't forget, come and collect your craft. And don't forget to read as well. See you later.